Most of us can hear the shush of snow, at least every once in a while, or the sounds of leafless branches creaking against each other in the winter wind. If you listen, you might hear the sounds of animal feet on dry ground at night. Only a few of us, however, get to hear the otherworldly sounds of wild ice. I'm Eleanor Spicer-Rice, and this is Our State's North Carolina Naturally. The first time I heard the sound of wild ice, I was with my parents walking through the swamp on a winter's day. Most Sunday afternoons were reserved for going to the woods. It had been unusually cold that day. The swamp streams and puddles had a layer of ice on them, something I'd never seen before and haven't since. When we stepped on them, the ice split, sounding like pluck steel cables. The second time I heard wild ice, I was 20 years older, throwing rocks and pine cones at a frozen pond in Durham with my two sons. None of us had seen a pond frozen over before. I'd moved far enough away from that swamp with my parents that I'd thought it had all been a dream. But there it was, on that pond, the preternatural chords reverberating in the winter air. My first thought really is that it's an unnatural sound coming from an amazing natural source. Bland Simpson is a North Carolina writer and musician. And like me, he fell in love with the sound of wild ice many years ago. I think the first time I experimented with the sound of a, something weighty on a pond, I'm 11 years old. The third hole of the old Chapel Hill Country Club, it snowed. And here's the little, uh, the water hazard, uh, of course, uh, we're humans, so we want to make noise, and one of the most interesting noises is the, the sound of a rock hitting the ice. And I picked up a field stone or something and threw on it, it bounced, and that first hit, it sends a doom. So I thought, that means it's thick enough for me to uh, walk out on. I'm by myself, I'm full of confidence, and uh, stepped on the ice and went straight through. And I remember how cold it was, how surprised I was, and how I immediately looked around for someone to, to blame <laughs> for this happening to me. Years later, when I heard my first synthetic drum, I thought, that sounds like ice. That sounds like ice with a rock thrown on it. And it, the first time I heard it was on the, in the first 12 seconds of Linda Ronstadt's version of Warren Zevon's Poor, Poor, Pitiful Me. And here were these syndromes going, doo, doo, you know, like, rock on ice. When ice and snow come to the south and east, it feels like an alien takeover. We cancel school, hunker down, don't dare drive any place. But when bodies of water freeze, especially in warmer places like North Carolina, they don't usually freeze all the way. Instead, they leave the river and pond beneath to slosh. The lid, spread taut like the head of a drum, rattles the water below. It cracks, sends vibrations deep and above. These vibrations make sounds, the twangs and croons of wild ice. Because every pond and stream has a different volume of water, and every freeze is just a little bit different, each of North Carolina's many ponds, swamps, and lakes will have a slightly different sound. Just like a, uh, if you have a, a jug for a jug band, uh, it's going to have a different tone depending on how much water you put in the, in the jug. In colder climates, when the water gets too cold, the ice becomes too thick to vibrate, too heavy to move. It silences any water beneath. We don't get too cold. In most winters, we get just cold enough for wild ice to sing. It hums and moans, shoots and warbles. It's just a remarkable substance. It's our old familiar, beautiful uh, life substance, water now in a totally different state. Ice in glasses tinkles and cracks. Crushed ice shushes and grumbles. But wild ice, the ice no human can make, the ice that covers our streams and ponds, has its own language. This video is sponsored by the Southern Environmental Law Center. To learn more about the sound of wild ice, read my story in the January 2025 issue of Our State or on our website using the link below. To see more videos like this, subscribe to the Our State YouTube channel.